Welcome back. Birthday Series is an exciting blog dedicated to creating unforgettable moments filled with positivity and adventure. With the much anticipated arrival of the first season, the Birthday Series will showcase special guests having the opportunity to share their personal experience based bucket list wishes, inspiring viewers to dream big and embrace life's extraordinary possibilities. Here now to tell us more is the co founders of the Birthday Series, Ben Scharf and Ryan Foss Shiftovic. Hi, guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, excited to be here. Of course, of course. So to start off, can you tell me a little bit about just the concept behind the birthday series? Yeah, so the concept of birthday series is basically um, driven from the concept of a birthday where people oftentimes blow out a candle, make a wish. Mm -hmm. But those wishes are oftentimes just moonshots of ideas and they never actually come true. And so for us, we want it to be the forcing function for people. So the idea is every episode is a different guest. Mm -hmm. They blow out a candle, make a wish. That wish has to be something actionable on their bucket list, and then we serve as the forcing function to bring it to life. That sounds so fun, <laughs> because I feel like when we hear bucket list, you think, like, yeah, I'm going to accomplish this in, like, five, ten years, well, but it holds you accountable, <laughs> you know? It's so funny, because when you ask someone, hey, what's on your bucket list, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, we get skydiving. And wow. so we really want to empower people to get creative, and each of our guests will be an influencer with their own audience, okay. and they're the creator. So we want to put it in their hands, to mm -hmm. come up with their idea. That's so fun. And it's funny because I was just about to ask, you know, what message or takeaway do you hope that the viewers will gain from the birthday series? Go do it. <laughs> like, it's don't sit around and just, like, think about the things you want to do. Just, like, mm -hmm. find a way to make them happen. I think for us, it's really, it's really cool because we get to help other people bring their wishes to life. But also, selfishly, like, we get to do amazing things that I never even thought of before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so fun. And I mean, in the series premiere, the guests will be competing in a 130-mile relay from Montauk to Manhattan. Can you share some details about their wish and maybe some of the challenges that they faced when completing this wish? Yeah, so we had a couple running creators, Tyler Swartz and Mallory Kilmer, who their wish was to do a relay race from mm -hmm. the, the Lighthouse in Montauk to Times Square, which is a 131-mile run. Uh, we it was the craziest experience of my life. So <laughs> like a, it was like a 22 hour oh, endeavor. Uh, the rule was that one person had to be running at all times. So it was okay. two teams of 10. Each team had an RV and they could essentially come up with their own plan and how they wanted to conquer the 131 miles. Uh, but one person was running at all times. It was running into the late hours is quite an experience. So yeah. almost nobody slept. You have two teams of 10 people, uh -huh. and we had a production team of 17 people following along. Mm -hmm. um, and the craziest part about it is, you know, I think if you look at the average pace of someone's running a mile, a little bit of deviation, like 30 seconds, could mean the teams finish an hour or two hours apart. Right. Yeah, you know, and with that, you mentioned that some of the guests are influencers with their own audience. So how exactly did you select the participants? And, you know, what can we expect from their journeys? Yeah, so I think to start, a lot of it is honestly our friends. Okay. Like These are people who have really unique backgrounds, who want to do really creative things. And I think mm -hmm. part of the concept for us was being exposed to new ideas that we had never thought of. Ryan hasn't run more than three miles in like 10 <laughs> years. I ran the New York City Marathon last year, but beyond that, I'm not really like a runner. Mm -hmm. So I would have never woke up one day and been like, let's run 131 miles. <laughs> and so we got to participate in an experience that I would have never done myself, right? And so... We have a lot of friends that have interesting ideas, and I think like once it starts, we'll see where the wind takes us. The fun part about that is that Ben and I, over the last handful of years, have worked on the business end with creators, mm -hmm. and now we're getting in front of the camera for the first time ourselves. It's such a fun shift, isn't it? Like when you get to go in front of the camera and then you go behind the camera, but it, it really is fun. And as the co-host, how do you ensure that these people fulfill their wishes? I mean, that's the, that's the secret to all of it, right? <laughs> it's like us, that's, that's what we need to be able to do. We need to serve as the forcing function. I think the beautiful part is because we come from the business side of an mm -hmm. operations background, uh, we have a lot more experience in terms of how to actually execute things of this nature. Mm -hmm. And so for them, it's like bringing them into our world, which is the business thing, and we're stepping into their world, which is the creator thing. <laughs> so it's yep. like the two worlds collide, and it ends up as a 131-mile run across New York so funny that was my next question you know you were a software developer and you were into entrepreneurship so how exactly did you get into content creation and hosting yeah I think for me it's about just chasing the things that fulfill you 
right? So like I, when I have an excitement or a curiosity and I need to like, you know, scratch my itch, I, I just need to follow it and explore. And for me, I've known that I've always wanted to be behind a camera in some capacity, just never knew exactly what it was or how I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. I've always been very intentional about if and when I decided to do it, what would it be? And I think this was something that when I had the idea, I couldn't stop thinking about it every night. And I was like, I need to just <laughs> go after it. And here we are. That's so, that's so awesome. I don't know. It's just something about creators and, you know, sometimes you do pick up other jobs because, you know, there's not a lot of jobs in the creative industry. So when you do, when you find, like you said, when you finally get to scratch that creative itch, I think it is so fulfilling. And so with that, Ryan, you've also had a diverse career journey from art dealing and startups. So how exactly did you get into the birthday series and how does, you know, your experience help the show success? Well, I had a startup before the pandemic in the real estate space here in New York and unfortunately COVID ended that business. Um, and when that happened, a lot of people around me said, hey, could you help us keep our business alive mm -hmm. since I had just put mine to bed? And I think through that, over the last handful of years as a consultant, I've consulted everything from banks to companies to startups to then creators. And during the pandemic, um, I was part of putting together a TikTok house in LA um, called Honey House. And we built it to a million followers in 60 days. And it was an amazing learning experience. And from that, I just started helping creators. And my job today as a consultant is to help people. And so the fact that Birthday Series is going to help to bring to life these ideas is the most rewarding experience. Yeah, for sure. And so with the Birthday Series, do you, how, how do you see it uh, evolving in future seasons? What can we expect? Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, right now our focus is really just like finding finding creators with unique ideas and can just staying consistent. I think oftentimes we see a lot of vlogs and content series fall short solely because people just give up or like mm -hmm. nothing is going to be easy. The behind the scenes of what went through <laughs> this episode is crazy. Uh, I think for us, our focus right now is just staying consistent and shooting content. And then once you put it out into the world, I think a lot of things can happen. Yeah, or when, sure. when people yeah. start to see things like, We've had some of the craziest people already reach out to us, wanting to help us or giving us new ideas, and we haven't even launched our first episode yet. Mm -hmm. So I think once once the first season goes live, I, I don't really know where the wind's going to take us. Yeah. Well, I think part of the the sort of humbling effect for us is that uh, we haven't put out a, a piece of content yet, but we've filmed five episodes. They're in the bank, and so we have you know, a, a timeline where we're giving ourselves enough time to be consistent. Mm -hmm. But we've also had some of the biggest brands in the world sponsor us and, and, and help us, you know, produce a lot of these, these episodes. That's awesome. And so, you know, we're running out of time. But when I was reading your bio, there was something, there was a quote that, uh, something along the lines of that, rejection regret uh, hurt. hurts a lot more than failure <laughs> and so i always say i'm more scared of regret than i am of rejection because at least mm. if you fail and you reject you know okay this is what this wasn't my time this wasn't for me but i'd rather have that than not knowing so i think that's really interesting uh, interesting and can you tell me um how that quote might reflect in the series yeah i mean i think it's people tell us the things they want to do and it's mm -hmm. like well if you don't try it or don't do it then you're just going to regret it it yeah. might not work but at least you tried right right yeah, I don't know. I, I think what's cooler than trying? Like, do it. Mm -hmm. We have so many people who come to us and like, oh, I want to do this. Or, I'm so jealous of what you're doing. I'm like, then do it. Just like turn yeah. the camera yeah, yeah. on. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so for me, I really try to like instill that idea into other people. And actually, crazy enough, the guest uh, for the episode that did the, the run with us, I actually have text messages from him from October he participated in another episode as, a, as just like an extra. Mm -hmm. And he texted us and said, you guys really inspired me to be behind a camera. I want to start doing this. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to figure it out. He just quit his full-time job a few months ago. He has a massive running community now, and he's a full-time creator. And it was so serendipitous because he became a guest on our content series, <laughs> although we were the ones who inspired him to get into content to begin with. So it kind of all came full circle. That is so exciting, and we can see here that what you're doing is great, and it's going to push people. So with that, I want to thank both of you for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Of course. For more information, you can visit the website at bdayseries.com and follow them on Instagram and TikTok at Birthday Series. And YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Open right after this.